it was your brother-in-law, I, I guess, who led to the your father's execution for being involved with the plot? I'm, I have my doubts that this is true. Yeah? No, the verdict says this is the case, that my father only got to know about the, uh, the complot, the assassination attempt, through his son-in-law. Bern Bernhard? Bernhard, yeah. Um, I doubt it. Because there's so many people involved in this conspiracy who he knew. I have found one single quote in a letter from him where he says that he meets now totally new people and new ideas about how how the country should develop and I mean very cryptic but but mind you he was an intelligence man and he's sad about the fact that they can't speak openly and he says so on several occasions that he would have loved to tell Elsa what he's seeing, what he's learning, what he's fearing uh, and he cannot being an intelligence person and apart from that even not being in the secret service of course it would have been far too dangerous and he didn't want to endanger my mother um, but it, it says so in the verdict that he only learned of the conspiracy in the beginning of July in 1944. The conspiracy was on the 20th of July in 1944, as the, the uh, actual assassination attempt. And I don't believe it. I don't believe it because he knew too many people. And he was a networker. He always kept them, all, all the people he knew, uh, he kept not only in his address book, but he he kept the relationship with them. And of course, there in the army, I mean, this was a military coup. Um, and he was, he was working in the, in the Canaris business, which is the intelligence headquarters. And uh, out of this intelligence headquarters, there were at least 10 who were executed because of this. It, I, I, I find it highly improbable that he would be the only one who didn't know anything about it because they were all speaking very openly in there. Did you find did you find your father the way you wanted to when you started this up? Did you find the person that you wanted? Did you, did you get more understanding or are you just infuriated with the things that you'll never be able to find out? No, neither nor. I didn't have any expectations how to find him. The only, the only idea I had when I started this work was to give him his life back. Give him his life back? Yeah, because he was a, f he was a function, like all the others, a function to show to the German people and to the people abroad that uh, not all Germans were criminals. Um, here's the good side of Germany. This is the function. And this is why that got streets named in their name and um, plaquettes and buildings where they had been and I don't know what and nobody at least I felt that nobody really saw the people the human beings behind this so this is how I started this is how I started and then and I started I wanted to write a book about him and give him his life back as neither villain nor hero no he's a human being He's a human being, and I think this makes him even more admirable. I've read, I've read these private printings of some of the widows of the conspiracy who describe their men or husbands. And when I read those, I said, good Lord, I mean, they don't deserve this. Because when you're born as an angel, then it's no difficulty to act as an angel. But when you're born as a real, normal human being, and then you suddenly get into a situation and you don't, you don't disappear. You go through it. You do it. This is, to me, uh, the real heroism, although I must tell you I find heroes boring. But um, uh, at least it showed that they were not escaping when fate or whatever made them do the things they did. Is there, if you don't like heroes, are you at least, are you, are you proud of the fact that he tried to do something or at least didn't do anything to prevent the, the assassination attempt? Are you, is, is there a matter of pride in there? No. No? No, it's his life. Hmm. 
Mm. It's not mine. I have nothing to do with it. Mm. It's his life. And I, I respect him I, and I accept him, but I don't go around and put a crown on my head and say, I'm his daughter, because I have nothing to do with it. Mm. So it really is his country, his story? Yeah. He was uh, well read, he was uh, very musical, and uh, he obviously had a great charm. So I would have loved to have known him. I think we would have had great fun. The book is My Father's Country, The Story of a German Family. I've been speaking with the author Vibke Bruns, and My Father's Country is published by Bond Street Books, Doubleday Canada.